let me welcome you on another Monday morning to Priority. For several weeks now and for several months to come, the Church of God Executive Committee will be hosting different folks that will join us here at the desk for a very special time of prayer, a time of devotion, but really a time of interceding with so many of you from around the world that join us every week. The Lord laid this on my heart several weeks ago that as we prepare for the upcoming General Assembly in July in San Antonio, Texas, we must lay the foundation of prayer. There's a verse of scripture that's on my mind and in my heart today that I want to begin with and it's found in Paul's writings in Colossians 4 verse 2 where he says, continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in thanksgiving. And that's what we do on priority. We continue in prayer. You know, my hope would be that this will not be something that just goes away after the General Assembly, but this will become a staple for us. It will become mm -hmm. something permanent in our prayer ministries here at Church of God International Offices. Thank you for joining us. I have with me today two very special guests. First of all, I have the prayer warrior of our family, my lovely bride, Paula. We have been married soon, 43 Yay. years. And uh, Paula is known for her prayer life. And her prayers have uh, rescued me more than I can begin to tell you. She's covered our family in prayer for many, many years. Paula, I'm glad you're here. We also have another very special prayer warrior as our guest, yeah. and that is Evangelist Jacqueline Smith. Jackie, we're so glad you're here. Thank you. Momentarily, I'm just going to turn these uh, two ladies loose to just talk to one another about the value and the importance of prayer. But, but Jackie, let me talk to you first. I, I just want to say to you how much I love you. Paul and I love and appreciate you. You are a treasure in the Church of God. Aww. Not all that so long ago, you. you were inducted into the Pentecostal Theological Seminary yes. Hall of Prophets yes. and so worthy of that honor. Amen. And I was so touched for you and uh, so blessed when that happened. But when I see you here today, I see a woman that has been an intercessor for the church, for so many people, but for me and Paula, yes. especially these last two oh, years, yes. you have stood with me oh, yes. when, when, and I, I don't mind, I don't mind to bring these things up. We, we've got to talk about them. Yes. You have stood with me during that very difficult time when, when racism yes. stuck up its ugly head again in this country. Yes. I remember almost right on this very spot, you stood mm -hmm. with me along with several other leaders and we prayed, we cried, we wept. And we, we have seen God help the church of God through this. We still have a long way to go, but the Lord has helped yes, us. Yes. You have stood with me as, as we have just dealt with this pandemic when we didn't know what to do, mm -hmm. what steps to take next. You have been there in prayer. Yes. And God has helped you. I know that, that you've been healed and you've been touched by the Lord. I'll bring this up and then I'm going to let Paula mm -hmm. converse with you. When Paul and I were pastoring in Danville, Virginia, you were the favorite evangelist of that church. If I had to be out of yes, town, they wanted Jackie to come in and fill in for me. And I knew when I was gone that you could hold the crowd, mm -hmm. and you always did. But we had a revival with you one time, and we had two children. Yes. And you got in a prayer service one night and prophesied that we were going to have a third. Uh -huh. And we did. And that was the last time I had you preach for me, by the way. And I, I say that. I say that. Yes. Paul, I know you love Jackie. Y'all talk about the value of prayer. Mm -hmm. Jackie, then just preach a little bit, share what's on your heart <laughs> oh devotionally, goodness. and then we're going to pray. Yes, we will. Sister Jackie, oh. how true that we do love you and so value your prayer life and your walk with the Lord. And, you know, while he was talking, my mind was just kind of running and just kind of going all all different places thinking about the word intercession. Yes. And I think sometimes people think that that's such a hard thing and that it's something that only certain people can do. Mm -hmm. And I know the Lord does call people to be intercessors maybe in a greater way than others. But, you know, uh, this last, within these last couple of years, the Lord really laid something on my heart and spoke to me because uh, there are times I think when we feel like, oh, if I, if I don't have an hour to go 
in my prayer closet or I don't have an hour and a half that I can go mm -hmm. and get down and pray and intercede, then there's just no need of it. But that's not all that it is, is have you ever been shopping and gone and hid out in the bathroom or gone and hid out in a dressing room whenever the Spirit of the Lord has just laid something so heavy on your heart and you knew you had to find a place to pray and even, you know, the Lord spoke to me, doesn't matter, Paula, if it's, if you have five minutes, mm -hmm. if you have 10 minutes, if you can just find a place that you can just be alone with me, uh, that's what he wants. And I think that's what we have to know and what we have to do. We have to intercede and know that it doesn't take some big, mm -hmm. powerful preacher or evangelist or that's right. you know prayer where it just right. takes being willing to hear absolutely and find the place and take the time when the Lord speaks to us that we need to pray absolutely it just it just reminds me so much of Romans chapter 8 mm. because we have two intercessors yes. uh, that are leading us in intercession. Mm. We know that the Holy Spirit is yes. an intercessor and we know that Jesus is seated yes. at the right hand Amen. of God mm. and the word of God says that he for, he forever Ever. makes intercession mm -hmm. for us. So it makes it easier for yes. us to be intercessors. Yes. And and I believe that that's one of the things that we need to concentrate on much mm -hmm. concentration we must give is that it's really not always about us. No. I just believe that if I spend more time praying for others and their needs, right. I right. believe that the Lord's going to have others interceding That's for me. True. And I That's think that so is true. a whole cycle of blessing. In my prayer room, I have a prayer book and I often will put it on Facebook and mm -hmm. just show it. I have a prayer book. And of course, your names and your family is right in that prayer book. You have your own page. We and that's that. because you are our spiritual leaders and you do need much prayer. And, uh, you know, there are yes. times when I know that you can't even, you don't even know what to pray. You don't even right. know which, right. which direction to go. But you've got your people and you've got Jacqueline and Elizabeth Smith right here interceding for you. And, uh, and like I said, you have a page in that prayer book. And I just believe that when we, when we get our minds off ourselves, there's right. much power. Right. and praying for others. I find myself praying a lot more right. for the needs of others than I even do mm -hmm. for, for my own for my mm -hmm. own needs. But yet when I when I have spent that quality time praying for other people, I have people contacting me saying, the Lord's laid me on your you. heart today. Yes. I'm praying for mm -hmm. you. And That's I've said so many true. times when I'm out out preaching, if if the Lord does put you and put yes. me on your mind, you, I just want you to just go ahead and pray for me. I might yeah. be going through the most difficult time of my right, life at that right. moment. The enemy has probably planned something against mm -hmm. me. And you know what? When, when I pray, when I'm praying for Bishop uh, and I'm praying for First Lady, let me just tell you something that happens. The enemy's um, plans are thwarted. Wow. I really do yes. believe that wow. very strongly. Amen. You know, uh, Jackie, when God called you into ministry, and that, mm -hmm. that's a powerful story, and, and I want to come back and talk about that sometime. Mm -hmm. But God led you in such a way that that you you were never married, no. mm -hmm. you've not had children, no. but you have spiritual sons and daughters, oh, literally say. all over this world. Around you have traveled, I don't know in how many nations with ministry to the military. Thirty nine. Thirty nine nations, mm -hmm. amazing. But but from that experience, can you just can you just testify of some some leading, some experience the Lord has, mm. has took you into as it relates to having spiritual sons and daughters and then how that mm -hmm. came full circle back to bless your life? You know, I was just reading in the in the book of uh, Matthew uh, about to when we give, when we give up, you know, when we leave mother and father, yeah. when we leave houses and lands, when we need, leave children. Mm -hmm. And you know, I read that yesterday, as a matter of fact, and it just really touched my heart and I kind of circled it, mm -hmm. you know, and I thought, yeah, Lord, you, you asked me to leave marriage. Mm -hmm. You asked me, yeah. you asked me to leave marriage, mm -hmm. uh, intimacy, romance. Sure. Birth, uh, birthing of children. You asked me to leave that. And what you have done 
is that if you ever ask us to give up something or, or, or let go of something, mm -hmm. you, uh, Sister Paula, he always has a replacement. replacement. And I know that you know this. I do. I do, Bishop. I have sons and daughters all over this world, and I call them the Amen. Mama Jackies, the yeah. Mama Jays, right. the Mother Smiths, because that's what they, yeah. that's what they call me. And they, uh, they have taken care of me even during the year that yeah. this past year that oh. I've been ill. They've stepped right in, you see. And that's all an answer to prayer because when God asks me to give those things to him, I thought it's impossible. How can I do this? Mm -hmm. But you see, I've been able to do it through my own prayers yeah. and the prayers of the saints. Yeah. I've been able to live a single life to live a celibate life. And I just want to say to all of the singles out there, this can happen, but it happens Amen. through having a very, very deep prayer life. Yes. Well, you, you have a very special intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Yes, he's my we, husband. We've all seen that in your life. <laughs> Jackie, is there any, any, any one or two things the Lord has really put on your heart before we pray today? Well, I'm just, I'm just interested in more in uh, the people of God uh, giving up the things, uh, things and things. That's, that's the only way that yeah, I can just yeah. really describe it. And just go after God more mm -hmm. than we ever have. Mm -hmm. I believe that this is the day and hour. We've, we say this all the time and we'll start out just like we were saying, we'll start the year out, you know, going after God, really chasing after God. But after the, a few months goes by, then we just kind of, you know, settle get a little, right yeah, we just settle right back before. down and just start putting everything else before. Mm -hmm. um, our relationship with the Lord. And that is the most important thing to me in my prayer, even in this new year in time of prayer and fasting, is that we will all, and I mean every one of us, will get back to developing our relationship with the Lord. We don't need His hand as much as we need His face. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. What a word. That's what we need more than anything else. And I'm yeah. putting myself, Bishop and First Lady, at the very top of that list. Yeah. And that's been my prayer here in these, uh, the, since we've come into the new year, a deeper relationship with the Lord. And, and our identity is not what we do, but our identity is who we are mm -hmm. in yeah. Him. Yeah. And, uh, and you've, you've seen my posts, you know, about mm -hmm. Jesus being my husband. Yeah. And I don't think that a lot of you might even understand that, you know, me saying that, but He is, He really is. And mm -hmm. of course, the Word of God even tells us that He is the husband of the church. And I think that we all need to realize that if He being the husband of the church, we need to get into more of a deep relationship and intimacy with Him. And once again, that comes only through prayer and sometimes with fasting. Absolutely. Well, I want us to do that right now. I'm going to ask Jackie and, and Paula to specifically pray for a miracle in your life today. Mm -hmm. Ladies, in 185 nations mm -hmm. of the yes. world, people are watching right now and they're listening to you pray and they're praying with us. Yes. And as we prepare to come on today, I, I just really sense the word miracle mm. resonating in my spirit today. I believe someone is going to receive a miracle as we pray. Yes. Whatever you need, I want you to believe with us that God is going to step in and intervene in your life right now. Paula, I, I want you and Jackie to just pray together. I'm going to be praying with you. But let's have a global altar right now, literally around this world, yes. as they join together in Amen. prayer. Jackie, Amen. why don't you lead, and then Paula, and then we'll just pray together. Mm -hmm. Lord, I'm in agreement Thank with Jesus. the psalmist this mm -hmm. morning Thank that Jesus. you hear us. He said, I love the Lord because he has heard my cry oh, yes. and my supplication. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. You, Thank the Word of God tells us that this poor man cried. Oh, God. And you heard him and you ser saved him out of all of his troubles. Yes. In Psalm 107, it says that they cried unto mm. the Lord Thank in their distress. Holy Ghost. And you heard them and Thank you delivered Jesus. them you, and led them to their desired haven. So, oh, Lord, gosh. we know that your eyes are Hallelujah. upon the righteous 
and your ears are open, hallelujah, unto our cry. And so we cry out to you today, Lord, and we're a needy people, and we know that you are the only one that can solve the problems that are in our lives and throughout this world. And I am praying this morning, and I am interceding for your people. Lord, there are many needs, and we know that you are the only one, the one and only one that can meet those needs, and you promised that you would. Lord, we are praying for miracles. We're praying for the impossible. Lord, with man, it is impossible. With God, all things are possible. And Lord, we are believing for miracles throughout the body of Christ, and certainly praying for the miracle-working power in the church of God and throughout our, our believers and our leaders, O oh God, and your servants and your ministers, O oh Lord. Lord, we are praying, O oh God, for miracles of healing, miracles of salvation, yes. miracles of deliverance, yes. miracles of the prodigals returning to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. We are praying for miracles, O oh God, that you will bring deliverance and peace to your people that are bound. Lord, we're asking you right now that you would show forth your power and your might, that you might be glorified and that the church would be edified and that the sinner will be saved. Lord, in the book of Acts, when they saw the power of God, oh, yes. many believed on oh, your yes. name and were saved. <laughs> and we're believing for that very That's same right. thing to yes. happen amongst your people Lord, today. Lord, Lord. God, yes. even a whole region was saved when they saw the power mm. of God. Some say that miracles are not for today. But Lord, I have read your word and I believe that you are the same yesterday. Mm. Hallelujah. Today Hallelujah. and forever. And I believe you're the still the seer, still the miracle yes, working God yes, that are. we are serving today and we're uh, believing God we are believing salvation. the miracle of comfort the mm -hmm. miracle of peace Thank Lord you. because you're the only one that can give this to us yes. and we're asking Jesus. these things mm -hmm. Lord and every family Thank a miracle a singles a miracle yes. oh God yes. hallelujah yes, yes. And our young people, miracles, our children, Revival. our elderly. Revival. Lord, Hallelujah. Lord, send Hallelujah. a mighty move of your spirit mm. in our revival Hallelujah. services mm. that are being planned for this year. And I'm praying that you will completely and totally Do take it, over when your people Amen. meet together. You promise to be in our midst Amen. miraculously Jesus. and supernaturally Jesus. in Jesus' name. Oh my, I want us to stay here for just a moment. Mm -hmm. let's, let's not rush this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did about 15 minutes, minutes, but let's not rush this. The Spirit, of the, Lord, the Spirit of the Lord is moving. And here's what I feel. I want to pray for household salvation today for everybody yes, yes, that's watching. Yes, Lord. I especially want to pray that for, for the homes of ministers. Yes, 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 oh, yes. You oh might God. even want to oh, put yes, the first Lord. name of a son or a daughter oh, yes, on, the, on the chat yes, line Jesus. or the comment. Yes, I don't need last names, but, yes, Jesus. but if you want to put a first name there oh, yes, Jesus. and request yes, that, that these Jesus, ladies and I pray for them even after we go off the air as they say we will continue to pray others here at international offices will be praying as the names scroll on on the the phone here we will be praying why don't Paula why don't you just pray for household salvation yes, today there are yes, pastors and oh, ministers out there who need a revival in their home let, let's finish today yes, with Jesus. praying for household salvation. Yes, I really feel yes, that. Jesus. This morning. Would you do yes, that, please? Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Lord, I thank you today yes. that you are aware, God, and you, yes, Lord. Yes. Only you, Lord, know the burden of the heart yes. of yes. moms Only you, and dads and those, yes, Lord, who carry the load of the burden of prayer for Come the lost Jesus. loved ones, Lord. Come, Holy I pray for household, household salvation. salvation. Lord, yes, Jesus. Father, the days of salvation are yes. not past. They're no, not behind no. us, Lord. No, no, Jesus. It's not a thing that never happens anymore, Lord. You yes, still Jesus. transform yes, lives. You, you still yes, you set yes. captives free, yes, Lord. You, you still break the that chains, you do, Father. You, you 
still set those free from bondage that are bound by the things of this world, by the deception of the enemy. And I pray today, Father, that all of those chains would be broken and that they would fall at the feet of those who are bound, Father. Lord, that whatever the means, God, it's up to you, Lord. You know the way, God. You know the method, Lord. You know the plan, Father. In our heart, we make our plans, but you are the one that knows Mm. what needs to happen, Lord. We give it to you today, believing with all of our heart, Lord, that those that we love are going to be saved, that prodigals are going to come home. They will, Father. That deception is going to fall from the eyes of those who have been blinded by the enemy. That the spirits of deception. Mm. Mm. That those, Lord, who have been blinded to believe that the things that this world tells them is truth, God. That just like the Damascus Road experience, Lord, that they will have it encounter with you, encounter. God. Jesus. We believe An it. Encounter. We agree, yes. God. Yes. We come Personal. into agreement. Yes. Yes. And those who are watching, hundreds and hundreds that are agreeing agree. today, Father, we that agree. it will happen, God. Yes. And we believe you for it. And we put our right. trust and our confidence yes, in you in the name of Jesus that is above every name above that has the name. power to in set Jesus. free in Jesus' name, yes. Amen. hallelujah. Amen. In your name, Jesus. Wow. Well, Thank you, Jesus. I believe Thank you feel you, the same Jesus. presence of the Lord you, there where <laughs> you're watching that we feel right here. Hallelujah. Oh, God has heard and God is answering prayer. We agree with you. Amen. Speaking of Amen. agree, let me invite you to be with us on March the 1st and the 2nd for Agree 22. Yes. We've Amen. had to reschedule it because of the pandemic and we delayed it. But in, uh, on March 1st and 2nd, Right here at International Offices, we will be engaged in a very special intensive prayer time, Agree 22. Be with us again next Monday for uh, another edition of Priority. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Paula. We love you all. God bless.